the rule of thumb when it comes to engines is the more horsepower you have, the more compression you have, and the higher RPMs you run, the more critical it is to have your ignition system dialed in. Today we're going to take a look at some distributor tips to get the most horsepower and throttle response from your motor. One of the simplest ignition systems out there is the HEI because everything is contained inside the distributor. GM used HEI distributors for years because it requires no external coil, but the stock HEI systems are a bit weak and often can't keep up with the needs of a high performance engine. But this is Performance Distributors DUI Ignition. The DUI is a high performance HEI ignition that's capable of providing plenty of spark no matter how high the compression or the RPM levels. Performance Distributors does this by including a 50,000 volt coil inside the cap that produces one long duration spark. They say this increases both throttle response and low end power. One of the advantages comes from the fact that the spark is strong enough to allow you to open up your spark plug gaps to 55 thousandths of an inch. That's over the standard 35 to 45 thousandths. This wider gap means there's more ignitable fuel and air in the path of the spark, which can produce a larger flame kernel and more efficient combustion inside the chamber. Another unique feature of the DUI distributors is that they are all customized for the application. Instead of sending out a spring kit so you can tune the advance on a standard issue distributor to your needs, Performance Distributors uses the information you supply on your engine, things such as cam duration and lift, compression ratio, carb size, the vehicle's weight, maximum RPM, and even the type of transmission you're using, and the result is a custom advance curve made specifically for your needs. For this series of dyno tests, we're back at KT Engine Development. The test mule is a Chevy 604 crate motor fresh out of the box. The 604 is built with GM's aluminum fast burn heads, a forged crank, stock length connecting rods, and flat top pistons producing 9.6 to 1 compression. The engine comes equipped with an aluminum single plane intake for racing. GM rates the output at 400 horsepower and 400 foot-pounds of torque. Although it may seem like an odd choice for this engine, we outfitted the 604 with a highly traditional style 750 CFM 4 barrel with the manual choke and vacuum secondaries. This is because we want a carb with a vacuum port to see how the vacuum advance on a distributor affects performance. The distributor performance distributor sent over is also unique. It's based on the popular DUI unit it builds for the Chevy small block. And this distributor has been modified specifically for use with the 602 and 604 crate engines. This includes an aggressive advance curve to optimize acceleration and a melanized gear rather than the stock cast iron gear, which mates better with the steel camshaft. And by the way, if you're looking to be as stealthy as possible, Performance Distributors also sells this unit with a plain black cap and no decals, which looks surprisingly like stock. Set the timing pointer at around 15 degrees before top dead center and drop the distributor in place. With the cap removed, make sure the rotor is pointing towards the terminal you want to designate as number one. Now, install the cap and the plug wires beginning with the terminal you designated as number one going to the spark plug on the first cylinder. The plug wires we chose are live wires from performance distributors. They have a very low internal resistance plus a high temp insulating sleeve protects them from the headers. Finally, each one is numbered on each end to make installation a snap. As soon as the engine cranks, use a timing light to set the ignition more accurately. By using a timing light, you can see where the timing is at idle and at speed after the mechanical advance mechanism has kicked in. Begin by checking the total timing. This is the timing setting with the engine at around 4000 RPM or whenever the advance mechanism is fully engaged. On most engines, the best timing is around 28 to 36 degrees before top dead center. Generally a higher RPM redline or less efficient cylinder heads usually like more timing. You can adjust timing by loosening the nut on the distributor clamp and rotating the distributor a couple of degrees. The direction you turn the distributor to either advance or retard the timing varies by make of engine, but on a Chevy small block you can advance the timing or fire the spark plug earlier by turning the distributor counterclockwise. You can retard it by doing the opposite. On an engine dyno like we have here, you can do a set of pulls at different timing settings to determine the optimum timing, but if you don't have access to a dyno, performance distributors can give you a very good idea of your best timing setting. 
The most important thing is to avoid advancing the distributor too much, which can cause damaging detonation. For this engine, we found that optimal timing was at 36 degrees advanced. On the dyno, it produced 424.3 horsepower at 5,800 RPM and 424 pound-feet of torque at 4,700 RPM. Next, we wanted to see how adding vacuum advance affects performance. Vacuum advance is a way to pull timing out of an engine when it's under load in order to reduce the chance of detonation. In other words, when you peg the gas pedal, the vacuum in the carburetor and intake plenum drops, and the vacuum advance mechanism responds by retarding the timing several degrees until the vacuum normalizes again. Hooking up the vacuum advance is simple. All we did was run a hose from the vacuum canister on the distributor to a port on the carburetor. On the dyno, the effect of a vacuum advance system is difficult to notice, and we saw no drop in performance. Plugging in the vacuum tube did require timing to be readjusted, but the engine still performed its best at 36 degrees advanced. Finally, there was still dyno time for a couple more pulls, and we wanted to see just how advantageous a properly timed high power ignition can be. So the performance distributors unit was yanked out and replaced with a stock GM HEI that had recently been rebuilt to like new specs. The plugs were also replaced with new ones that had the stock gaps before making another pull. On the dyno, the engine sounded like it ran well, but as you can see from the dyno sheet, it simply couldn't keep up with the high performance HEI unit we had been using. This is especially true in the upper RPM ranges. As the RPMs increased, so did the difference in performance. In fact, at 6,000 RPM, the performance distributors unit actually helped this engine produce 18 more horsepower.